Hi guys, it's Dave here again from Model Rail Baseboards um, with another video today on lighting and soldering and a question I get asked quite a lot at the shows are people that are just a little bit nervous of soldering and how to wire street lights and adding resistors and that kind of thing. So the first thing I really want to show you today is um, LEDs then the street lights and then we'll get into wiring and part of that we'll do a soldering tutorial. Now what I want to do is I want to keep the tutorial on the soldering as simple as possible because there's a lot of videos out there and it, you can really go in depth but for a wiring uh, when you want to join a couple of cables together I'll show you the quickest and easiest and simplest way of doing it. Um, so let's start off with our basic LEDs. Um, an LED is a light emitting diode and if you can see that there in the camera and these are built to work on very low voltages um, typically about 1.2 to 1.5 volts and a great way of testing them is just using a coin cell battery like this guy here the plus is always the longer of the two leads so if I pop the battery in between the two and there we have a green LED and it's that simple so we have a red one here, again if we put the longer side to plus and there we go, and that's a small 3mm LED. Now we also have on the website, on the new shop on the website, we have got LEDs uh, in packs with resistors. We sell resistors themselves <clears throat> and bringing us into the resistors, basically people, you know, they, they don't understand what they are. It's very simple, we'll open this pack up. and. A resistor's job is to reduce the voltage going through it. That's the basic, easiest way to describe how a resistor works. And if I bring that up close, it's a very, very small little guy. And what that will do is we put power in one side and it comes out the other side, but the voltage is greatly reduced and it's ideal for LEDs. And typically with an LED to reduce the voltage, um, you want what's called a 1K resistor, which is basically 1000 ohms, and that's how they're measured. I'm not going to go into detail on it. So if you want to dull your resistor, your, your LED down even further, if you don't want it too bright, you can buy a pack of 2.2K resistors where they're 2200 ohms, and they will uh, they reduce the brightness of the LED. So in order to solder on to make a resistor work on 12 volt, which is one of the most popular uh, voltages out there for, for layout lighting, you typically solder the resistor in line with the positive terminal on the LED. And I'll bring that up close. So basically what you want to do is you basically want to join it like that. So that on the positive side, your positive cable is going to go here and your negative cable is going to go there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up in the helping hands here on the bench and I'm going to show you how to solder the two of them together. Okay, so here we are set up on the bench and what I do is I clamp the two together. It's getting a bit difficult to focus. There we go. I clamp these two together and in a helping hand and it makes it much easier to solder. So the next step, soldering. Um, it's something a lot of people don't like doing and it's a very very simple thing to do the components you need is solder um, which is just like a very soft wire that melts at a very low temperature and a soldering iron now this is an 18 watt soldering iron so something between 18 25 or 30 watts is fine for doing this type of work you don't really want anything bigger than that and a pretty fine tip on it as well so how to solder it's very simple. Um, your soldering iron, uh, a little sponge, damp sponge pad is always ideal because what that does, it cleans the dirt off the tip and just literally run it through that and you'll see it goes nice and shiny as it cleans off the tip on it. And then the next thing to do is, is tin. This is called tinning basically when, you're, when you melt a bit of solder onto the tip of the iron. You only want a small bit on there. And then from there, what you're going to do is, I'll just bend this so the two are touching. Put the soldering iron onto it like so and then feed a small bit of solder in and what you're watching is you're going to watch for keep that iron in there and let the heat build up between the two and the solder will then run it's a bit too much solder on there 
the solder will run between the two and those two are now soldered. Now for something on the bench it's, it's not one of my greatest creations um, but it will show you how to do it and that's as simple as that. The next stage then is to put cabling on. Our next step is to solder our power cables onto our LED now that we have the resistor soldered in line. And that's just a very simple case of if you have a wire stripper, just strip back some of the cable from each one. A little tip is don't pull the uh, outer sheath all the way off, twist it like so. And that will twist the cables together quite nicely and pull it back a bit and just give it a twist. Uh, quickest way of doing this is literally just join the two like that, cross them over and then literally twist the two together and it will ensure a good connection. And that's our red wire on and we'll do the same for the black. And again just cross them over and just twist them together. And then it's just a simple case of soldering these two up. So what we'll do is we'll pop them in our helping hands on the bench like so, get that lined up and then our soldering iron just wet the tip there to clean it off and then get the iron small bit of solder on the tip, tin it and then hold the iron up to it and feed the solder in and you should see the solder flow and that's it, that one's done and the same with this one again, feed it in a bit and then it should flow through it and that's those two soldered the next thing to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to clean off this little bit here. And just with wire cutters. And that's now ready to go. The next step is to protect the cable um, from touching so they don't short out. And the quickest and best way I find is with this stuff here. Heat shrink. And it's available in different diameters. Um, we'll have it available shortly on the online shop and effectively all you just do is cut it to length just get an approximate length so it's going to cover the whole lot and we'll say and then we'll cut that one to suit that one and thread it along and thread it right up and cover this cover the exposed cables and we'll do this one quickly and I find give it a slight twist when you're running it along. And the next thing to do then is to shrink them down. And what I use is a small little gas blowtorch. Now you can use the heat off your soldering iron to do the same. And uh, you can use a small blowtorch or the heat of the soldering iron. Either either will work fine. And then just very simply just run it along and you'll see the heat shrink shrink down in size. This is much better than using insulating tape. I find insulating tape gets really messy and it also unravels over time and exposes cables. And that's it. Now if you want to use a soldering iron to do it all you just do is just run it up and down like that till it shrinks over. And that's one LED completely wired, ready to put power on. So the next thing we'll do is pop a bit of power on. So we'll just strip that back. And using the Wago connectors, we have a bench power supply ready to go. Snap that down. We'll put the negative in. <clears throat> And there we have it, one green LED, all rewired, all wired up, ready to go. And that is safe, secure, and it won't short out properly wired. Okay, so now onto our street lights. Um, our street lights are supplied in packs of five with resistors, but the resistors aren't soldered on. And the reason being for this is 
The lamppost itself has a two millimeter diameter uh, up stand. So I typically, when I'm fitting them to layouts, I like them to sit nice and tight. I drill a two mil hole and sit it in, and then I wire the resistors in from underneath. Now the resistor is very, very small. So it is possible to solder it on and fit it through a 2.5 millimeter hole or something like that if you want it to, uh, to wire them after. But they are supplied loose. If it's a problem that you're not sure on soldering after looking at the video and you kind of think, you know, I'm not sure I'm able to do that, I can do it for you. Um, you can order the street lights and I can supply them with their resistors soldered on with one or two meters of cable on each one and you can bring them all back to a central point. We offer that service as well. So the first thing to do is to fit the resistor itself. Now on these lights, the wiring is a little bit different. The black is the live and the white is the neutral. I have asked the manufacturer on the next batch to change this because it is a little bit confusing. But just quite simply, just wrap the cable around the resistor like so. Pop it into the helping hands, get your soldering iron, clean off the tip, and then your solder at the ready. And iron underneath, and just feed that solder in until it flows in and that's it done so that is now ready to go and it's a good strong connection the next thing to do then is to fit our live cable the way I always try and do this I always try and work with one side first so if I'm fitting four or five street lights I'll do all the positives first I'll fit all the resistors fit all the cables it just stops any mistakes happening and getting your wires crossed as you're wiring through. It's a more systematic approach to doing it. And then quickly solder in. You'll see the solder just flow through that. And it's really as simple as that. Once you see that solder just flow through the cable, that's when you know you're at the right temperature. If the solder isn't flowing properly, it's uh, it'll start you know forming lumps and everything else. It's not gonna it's not gonna go, go right, and that will lead to dry solder joints and bad connections. So it's important to make sure you've got the right amount of heat. Now, so we just add the negative and pop that in the helping hands. Clean the soldering iron. So it's essential get the soldering iron underneath, feed the solder in a wee bit. And you can see that solder just melts and flows straight through. And that's and it. For our negative cable, just join them together, twist them together. Clean your soldering iron. Soldering iron underneath. And then just feed in the solder. And that's it. And that light is now ready to take 12 volts. But the first thing we need to do is pop a bit of heat shrink on and just protect those cables. Now with wiring any LEDs, it's very easy to uh, mix up polarity. But with an LED, it's, um, it's not the end of the world. If you get the polarities mixed up and if you get plus and minus the wrong way around, it just won't light up. It's not going to blow it up. The only way you're going to blow it up is if you put on the cables without the resistor. It's very important to have that resistor in there to step that voltage down so that LED can, uh, can function properly. But the only way you can blow these guys is with the wrong resistor or the wrong power. So if you have a 1K resistor and you put 24 volts on there, chances are you'll blow the LED, it'll burn, it'll go very, very bright for a while, and then it'll just completely um, blow. But once you stick within the guidelines, you should be fine. And what we'll do now is we'll power this up and give it a quick test. So pop it into our power supply here on the bench, positive in, and it's our Wago connector. Nice, tight, good connection and our negative in and we should see the street light there we go and that's it there and it's as easy as that and our wiring is nice and neat and well protected if you have any questions 
just uh, drop me an email or um, give me a shout. Um, my contact details are all there on the website. And uh, if you know if you feel that you're you're not up to soldering at this stage, no problem. We can do it for you as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching and click like and subscribe. Thanks a million. Bye bye.